Hey everybody, I'm back again with another anime review. Last time I was going, I, after my Dragon Ball Super review, I was going to review Blue Dragon Season 1. But uh, a fan, or I guess you could call it a fan, somebody commented on my Wakfu video and I got into the conversation and I said, oh, I was going to review the special episodes. Which honestly, I totally forgot until I brought it up in the conversation. And so instead of reviewing Blue Dragon, I reviewed Wakfu, the special episodes. But now, without further ado, I'm going to review the anime, Blue Dragon. Now, if nobody knows how Blue Dragon originated or what Blue Dragon is, Blue Dragon first came out as a, a video game. Um, and then they made an anime adaption. <coughs> but the video game and the anime are two different stories. I think there's two Blue Dragon video games. I'm not sure because whenever I research the Blue Dragon video game, I don't. I find like a bunch of info jumbled up, like nothing makes sense. I know there's one for the 360, and I know uh, the Blue Dragon video game has three CDs in it. It's one of the, it's one of those RPGs where when you reach a certain point in the game, you have to take out the CD and then put in the other CD to continue the game. That's what it is. But I'm not here to talk about the game. I'm here to talk about the anime. Now, Blue Dragon, Blue Dragon the anime came out when I was little. And I've recently turned 21. And it came out when I was little. So, I guess you could say it's old. <laughs> it came out in uh, 2006 in Japan. And then it came to the US, like, I think a year later or in the same year. I don't remember. Blue Dragon aired on Toonami back then. One episode every Saturday. And... Uh, when I was little, I loved it. It was awesome. I liked it. Um, it kept me interested in everything. But then one day, it just vanished. I remember the episode I left off on, too. Um, if, if you know the anime, but if you don't know the anime... Uh, spoilers, by the way. But if you know the anime, who cares? <laughs> the last episode I left off on was when they were attacking the main bad guy. Well, the bad guy's base confident as hell they were getting their asses kicked until the main character's best friend unleashed her powers to save everybody and then she teleported them out of the base and then the episode ended right there and so i was like oh my god i can't wait till the next episode and so saturday came tsunami came on no sign of blue dragon then next saturday came tsunami came on no sign of blue dragon blue dragon for some reason just stopped being on tv i don't know what happened Maybe uh, they took it off because of um, how some of the characters look. But yeah. And so years passed, years passed, years passed, years passed. And eventually, I, I got Hulu by like trials and shit. <laughs> and uh, I saw Blue Dragon Season 1. And then it said Uncut, which even, caught, which even made me more curious. I'm like, Uncut? What's the difference with Uncut? And then, surprisingly... There's a Blue Dragon Season 2, which I never even knew about because when I was little, I didn't have a computer. I had internet in the building, but I didn't have a computer. And so, I had nothing else to watch. And so, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to watch the animes I've never finished. I'm going to watch Blue Dragon, Blue Dragon Season 2, Zatch Bell, Inuyasha, all that stuff. And so, I looked up the difference between Blue Dragon and Blue Dragon Uncut. This only goes for Season 1. Uh, the only difference I've seen and read is that, uh, like I said before, the video games and the anime have totally different stories. The m huge difference with the anime is that um, there's an additional character that's not in the video game. Her name is Bouquet. And um, in the uncut version, Bouquet's breasts are, like, huge. And I don't remember how she looks in the original version. But I'm, maybe that's why they took it off of TV. Who knows? Maybe her breasts were still too big, even though like they edited it to be smaller. Who knows? But the story for the anime is that there are seven chosen warriors who defeated the darkness long ago. And the main character here, his name is Shu. Shu and his companions are those chosen seven. Now, I'm not going to say their names because I'm going to spoil it. <laughs> you already know Bouquet. That's all I'm going to say. Now, a fun fact about this anime is uh, Akira Toriyama, uh, he made some of the, the designs for these characters. Like, 
my cousin, my little cousin who lives with me, he's never seen Blue Dragon, but he loves Dragon Ball Z. And he saw the main character, Shu. He saw Shu's hairstyle. And he said right away, wow, that kid looks just like Trunks when Trunks goes Super Saiyan. And I thought about it, and I was like, oh shit, you're right. Shu's hairstyle is the same hairstyle of future Trunks when he has his hair in a ponytail and when he goes Super Saiyan. And then I looked it up for myself, and it, it turned out Akira Toriyama made pretty much the designs for these characters. He especially made, he himself made Bouquet. Like, one of the females in the shows has the hairstyle of launch. The only thing, like, a bit more uh, added hair. Now, both Blue Dragon Season 1 and Season 2 are 51 episodes. And it's an old anime, as you can tell. But honestly, uh, if you were to watch it today, me personally, I couldn't even tell if it was old or not. It looked brand new. Yeah, you can tell it's old because they do every anime still does this till this day, but they still do like those things where they reuse scenes for certain scenes, stuff like that. But you're not here to hear all that crap. You're here to hear my opinions on the anime. The good and bad things are Blue Dragon. The good things I, I liked it because hey, nostalgia. I haven't seen it since I was little. I was pretty excited and I, I had fun with it. I had fun with it. Uh, the powers, I like the powers, the shadow powers, because everybody's shadow is pretty much a weapon. Um, there is close combat in the anime, like, the characters do sometimes go fist to fist. There's gunfights, there's a lot of interesting stuff. Um, hmm, I love the, I love the ending, and I'm not gonna spoil the ending, because if you've never seen the anime, or if you've never read the manga... Or if you've ever played the video game. Never played the video game. The ending just catches you way the fuck off guard. It's like, what? Just catches you way off guard. Me, it, ain't, it didn't catch me off guard because I researched it myself. Because I heard... I skipped ahead to see how many episodes there were. And I read the description of the last episode. And it caught me by surprise that when I looked it up for myself, it turned out to be true. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, What else? Mmm... Yeah, but since I saw it on Hulu, and this is Blue Dragon Season 1 uncut, um, it's only in Japanese, which I didn't mind, because honestly, Blue Dragon, to me, sounded pretty good in Japanese. I don't remember how it sounds in English. I do not remember at all. But it, I wouldn't mind. I, I liked it in Japanese, and if you don't like it in Japanese, then I guess watch the some of the episodes that were English because I'm pretty sure the reason why they took it off of TV is because they either got lazy with the dubbing or they didn't have time. Now, if you want to watch season two, you have no choice but to watch it in Japanese. <laughs> but uh, what else can I say about Blue Dragon? Mm, I got to say, that's pretty much it, honestly. The main character, he's pretty cool. Everybody's pretty cool. The show looks great. The music is fine. The sound, everything is fine. Now, the bad things, uh, hmm. I honestly don't have any bad things for Blue Dragon. Because, uh, now, if, if you're one of those high strict anime lovers where, like, oh, they keep using the same scene for this scene over and over, come on, man, get good, get better, you can't really criticize this anime because, like I said before, this anime came out when I was small. This anime came out when I was, like, six, five, seven years old. So, it, it's, it's an old anime. But uh, would I recommend it to somebody? Uh, yeah, if you got nothing, if you have no animes to watch, and if you're in the mood for something long, uh, go right ahead. I would recommend the uncut version, because uh, personally, I liked it, and I liked it in Japanese. But it's up to you how you're going to watch it or not. But I would totally recommend it to somebody, and uh, maybe I would watch it again with somebody, who knows. But that's all the time I got. Next time I see everyone, I'm going to review Blue Dragon Season 2. Bye-bye.